Here are some of the most dangerous and weirdest Happy Meal toys that were ever given to kids. A lot of these are from the 80s and 90s, but I do remember some of them. First, we have the Ronald McDonald glove puppet. This was given out in the 70s and 80s. Now, I'm sure we can all agree that Ronald McDonald is already creepy as it is, but this toy was actually suffocating children because when you give very little kids plastic bags, they put it over their face. So this was removed from Happy Meals by the 90s. They also came out with this Ronald McDonald mask in 1974. And it wasn't dangerous in any way, but a lot of kids were <laughs> afraid of it. They had what was called the Tickle Feather, which came out in 1982. It was just made out of foam, and people were encouraged to go up to strangers and tickle them. Parents literally complained about this because, as you can tell, it's a very weird concept and could be a little dangerous with strangers. So they removed it almost right away. There are so many more, so I'll have to make a part two at some point. Creepy Lost Cartoon Episodes Part 10 this one is Barney's last episode. You could feel that something wasn't right from the beginning. First of all, you could hear whispering during the music. After a few minutes, Barney appeared, but his voice was weird. It was like having two voices, one normal and one demonic. He said, hi kids, today I'm gonna teach you about death. His face suddenly turns angry and he grows sharp teeth. Then he laughs and bites a child's head off. He started chasing the rest of the kids and eating them. Then the other two dinosaurs came and said, well Barney, what did we learn today? And Barney said, remember kids, don't bother locking your doors and hiding under the bed because I will find you and kill you. And then the episode ended with a creepy photo of Barney. is Clyde the Clown. And he used to scare me all throughout my childhood. He was apparently made in the 1980s and my grandparents kept him in their basement. And my sister and I always just had this very bad vibe from him. We always felt like he was watching us. He would end up in places that we didn't put him last. We would notice that the way he was posed would move. He was just altogether a very strange doll to us. He supposedly based off what were called hobo clowns from the early 1900s. And actually one of the first people to ever do this sad clown look was a man named Emmett Kelly. He created a clown figure named Weary Willie. And this was so baffling to people because they had only ever seen happy, bright clowns. So to see a sad, depressed looking one, it was interesting. So about a year ago, my grandparents decided they wanted to get rid of this doll. And they were actually planning on bringing him to the dump and I intervened. And I basically told them that if they were going to throw it out anyway, I wanted to keep it. I don't really know what got into me. I was terrified of him as a kid and now I wanted him. So now he lives with me in my house. <laughs> This is a story about my haunted dolls, Hansel and Gretel. So I got them from an antique shop in Sleepy Hollow, New York. A lot of people pointed out in my last video that the eyes seemed to change direction. Go and check out my last video and let me know if their eyes are actually changing direction. What's weird is the owners were really attached to them and they refused to sell them to anyone until I walked in. The lady running the shop had to call her husband so that he can come to the shop to meet me to see if he wanted to sell them to me. They've had them for over 20 years and these dolls are at least 100 years old. I'm currently traveling in my RV and every single night something is waking me up. I'm not sure if my RV is haunted or if it's all these haunted items and these new haunted dolls. If you guys want to see more of Hansel and Gretel, comment and like this video. Creepy Lost Cartoon Episodes Part 8 This one is the Red Mist. It is associated with another episode, Squidward's Suicide. This episode starts normally with Squidward practicing his clarinet, then somebody knocks at his door. He opens the door and it was a salesman, but Squidward slams the door with anger. Then the salesman knocks again. This time he looks upset with red eyes and he says the Red Mist is coming. In the next scene, Squidward is singing at a concert. He says that the song is called Red Mist. There was SpongeBob Patrick and the salesman acting really weird at the concert. Then we're back at Squidward's house. He's really upset with red eyes and starts crying, but his tears are blood. Then the screen flashes and we see a six-year-old boy dead in the forest. The boy's eyes were missing and his stomach was cut open. In the background you could hear the salesman laughing. After a few scenes like that we could see Squidward holding a gun. And the salesman was saying, do it, the red mist is coming. Squidward puts the gun in his mouth and shoots. Here's some of the most disturbing children's toys ever made. Fugglers are unique plush dolls that are each made one of a kind, and one of their most notable features is their disturbingly realistic fake teeth. 
and while some can be kind of cute, others, not so much. These dolls are made by a lady named Louise McGetrig from the UK, and she sells these dolls on Etsy and eBay. There are many different variations of this doll, some with glass eyes, gap teeth, bright colors, and some are even furry and glow in the dark, but those are just the tamest versions. These dolls are intentionally made to be ugly and some have faces that are oddly bone chilling. Many people have claimed she uses real human teeth in her plushies, to which she denies. Either way, these toys are guaranteed to scare children and adults alike. Lately I've been seeing these creepy doll head lights everywhere. So I decided to buy one for myself. Welcome to the first episode of I Buy Weird Things. <laughs> so I found this cutie online. I know she looks a little bit dirty, but I think she's made <laughs> to look like that. And I've decided to put her in my guest room. I don't care how weird that sounds. But I thought we would find out how she glows together. All right, here we go. Oh goodness. Why did I think her whole head was gonna glow and not just her eyes? The camera can't even focus on her face. Okay, this is the coolest thing I've ever owned. Imagine going to bed and you just see this in front of you. My guests are gonna hate me, aren't they? Creepy Lost Cartoon Episodes Part 11. This is an episode of Blue's Clues. It aired only for 30 seconds before they took it down. The first thing we see is Steve sitting on the thinking chair, but with a creepy expression. Then he comes closer and says, Please, if you're watching this, please come help us. They took me, Blue, and everyone else away from home. We were enslaved and we had to act in a show. They abused and tortured us if we didn't obey. We want to go back home, but we are trapped. Please don't let us suffer anymore and free us. And then it was taken down. Do you think it's real or not? Look at this cool Teletubby, he's not scary at all, oh my god! <laughs> oh, let's yes. see. Go, one more. Oh, you yeah, look scary on the camera! Creepy Lost Cartoon Episodes Part 1 Suicide Mouse.avi This one is an unseen episode of Mickey Mouse. It starts with him walking around as a loop and without anything creepy. Then a loud cry starts in the background and Mickey's face starts to fall apart. The employee who first watched this left the room and told the guard to continue watching the episode. Legend says that the security guard killed himself by repeating the phrase Real suffering is not known. Would you watch the episode? Creepy Lost Cartoon Episodes Part 7 Ed, Ed and Eddie This episode accidentally aired on Cartoon Network at 5am one morning. The animation and the sounds were really weird. It was described extremely dark and depressing. The characters seemed angry and they had tears in their eyes. And at some point the episode became unwatchable because of the quality. Johnny swallowing Naz's head and she was kicking and trying to get out. And he held her like this until she went limp. Then the episode shows Eddie's house and cuts to black. Why do you think they made this episode? Scariest Toys of All Time Part 1 This is Sir Growls-a-Lot. He looks like a nice teddy bear, and tons of people have bought him for their kids. But believe it or not, this teddy bear has made hundreds of children cry. Although innocent looking at first, when you give him a hug, this happens. Creepiest Lost Cartoon Episodes Part 4 Peppa Pig, why? This episode starts with a very weird way. The sky was black, the music was playing backwards, and also the words Peppa Pig was written in red. Then the house was on fire. Inside was everyone except Peppa, and they were actually dancing while the house was on fire. Then a wooden beam fell from the ceiling, and it landed on George's stomach. There was blood everywhere. Then the house exploded and you could see heads and body parts everywhere. Then the scene cuts to Peppa who was like a zombie. Then she said, why? Why you didn't watch another episode of me? Now thanks to you my family is dead. Then she continued by saying, don't you see I'm suffering? One day you will regret it. Would you watch the episode? You need to talk? What do you need to say? <laughs> Lena, can you help me bring through spirits that I need to bring through? Please. Where is yeah, where is Adam? Adam, can you do that? Creepy Lost Cartoon Episodes Part 7 Angry Sylvester 
The episode starts with Sylvester in front of a military base. There is no music and Sylvester seems different. He looked bruised, badly beaten and his eyes had no pupils. He didn't say anything, he just looked really angry. He entered the base and it was completely empty. And he started destroying all the lights that were hanging from the ceiling. His claws grew to a ridiculous size and they were full of blood. And the scene was flashing rapidly which makes it more creepy. At the end he said, you people can't hide forever. I will get my revenge to what you did to me and the Looney Tunes. Why do you think they made this? Creepy Lost Cartoon Episodes Part 18 Spongebob Lies This episode started with this background and with creepy music. Spongebob was going to work when he saw a dead body hanging from a tree. He started screaming and ran to grass the crabs. He started working as usual without saying anything to anyone. But then suddenly everything got darker and you could hear screams in the background. And then Spongebob says, everyone thinks that I'm a good person. Lies. Then Mr. Krabs entered the kitchen. Spongebob attacked him and he started beating his head on the stove. Until Mr. Krabs' head had disappeared. Then he went to Squidward and he ripped his heart out. And then he brutally killed everyone else he knew. In the last scene Spongebob was at home with dead bodies all over the place. And he said, why Bikini Bottom, why? I guess that this might be the only way out. So he slit his wrist and he wrote lies on it. He died shortly and the episode ended.